Hey guys, today I will be reviewing Roman new product, Blur Fudge Tint. There are a total of 8 shades and I have picked up 4 of them. Two of the shades are made in collaboration with beauty YouTuber Minsko. I'm such a big fan of hers, so I had to get these babies. Let's start with the packaging. It comes in matte and frosted looking square container that feels somewhat weighted. Each shade matches quite close to the packaging so it makes it easy for me to identify which shade is which. It has fairly stiff and flat spatula that is like a match made in heaven to apply this product. It is also angled in the perfect way so it spreads the product nicely and evenly onto the lips. It has fudge like texture as the name suggests but not as slippery as Peripera Ink Airy Velvet, which is more like a moussey texture. This dries down to a certain extent which helps with the longevity, however, very different from the way Etude House's Fixing Tint does. Also, it does not emphasize any of the dry patches or lip wrinkles, just like Peripera Ink Mood Matte Tint. I would say that it is lighter weight and the most matte when comparing to their Zero Velvet Tint line and Peripera Ink The Velvet or Ink Matte Blur Tint. For the smudge or transfer test, it is definitely not transfer proof. However, they do last on the lips even after being smudged in a beautiful way. While it leaves a slight tint after wiping it with the micellar water, this may not be for you if you are looking for an actual tint that lasts whole day because this does not stain. Pardon my bare face as I just want to quickly pop by and show you how it looks after 6 hours. It does dry down and has no problem reapplying it as you can see. For the swatches, we have the first shade made with Minsko, number 1 Pumeloko. Minsko describes this as cozy soft coral colour. I really love this shade as I love how soft it looks and yet gives me enough colour that complements warm skin tone. The next shade is number 4, Redwood. It is described as deep brown shade though on my light medium skin tone, it is not as deep. However, I loved it for the fact that it is a brown tone that not many Korean brands make. This looks so grungy and moody, perfect for those rainy days or you know, to wear on those PMS mood swing days. Another gorgeous shade in the line is number 7, Cool Rosa. Minsko was also involved in creating this shade. She described it as a cool plum rose colour that adds spotlight to the lips, which I totally agree. I was quite worried if this would look good on warm skin tones but as you can see, the tone is also quite right on us. I think because it does not have much plum in it. Last shade we have is number 8, Current Gem. It is a strong berry cool red that is quite toned down. I hope it makes sense. This is a low chroma red so if you are looking for a toned down red, this is just perfect. Here are arm swatches of all 4 beautiful shades once again. I'll be showing you comparison shades for reference that I have in my collection. First up for Pomeloco, we have Peripera Ink The Velvet in number 11, My Coral. 
Peripera Ink Airy Velvet Stick in number 5, Burnt Tangerine. And number 6, Daily Rose. I'd say Burnt Tangerine is the closest shade as Pomeloco has just a hint of pink. For the second shade Redwood, we have Peripera Ink Mood Matte Stick in number 8, City Pop Chili. Peripera Ink Third Velvet in number 1, Good Brick. Etude House Fixing Tint in number 6, Soft Walnut. Followed by Peripera Ink Mood Matte Tint in Ginger Red. I love how red wool is very brown and fairly deep as compared to the rest. So if you love the brown tone, I highly recommend you check this out. Next, for Cool Rose Up, I'll be showing you guys a two house fixing tint in number 7, Cranberry Plum. Peripera Ink Mood Matte Tint in number 3, Oatmeal Rose. And Ink The Velvet in 18, Star Plum Pink. Star Plum Pink came out the closest to Cool Rose Up. The last shade for comparison is Current Gem. We have Peripera Ink Airy Velvet Stick in number 9, Emotional Red. Peripera Ink Mood Matte Stick in number 5, Red Carry. Roman Zero Velvet Tint in 24, Fade Red. And Peripera Ink Matte Blur Tint in number 9, Thrilling Red. To be honest, the first four shades look pretty close in tones and the differences will be that the vibrancy on the lips and their formula. If you like the opaque look, I suggest you go with Zero Velvet Tint. For the last segment, I'll be sharing with you a few shade combinations. For the warm tone lovers, I'm pairing Pomeloco and Redwood. This is a no-brainer pair that would go well with any eye looks on warm skin tones. And for the cool tones, we have Cool Rose Up as a base and Current Gem in the inner lip. It is a perfect cool tone combination that still looks very lovely on warm tones. Last but definitely not the least, Minsko's recommendation of pairing Pomeloco and Cool Rose Up. It creates such a lovely rosy colour that is in between. I believe that this will look good on many skin tones. This is all I have for today guys. I thoroughly enjoy reviewing this blur fudge tint for you guys. And this has become one of my favourite formula that I have recently tried. Although it is not mask proof like Etude House fixing tints, I would totally wear this underneath the masks as the transfer is still acceptable for me. Also, I would say that it has a great range of colours that look good on both warm and cool tones. For all these reasons, I can totally see why this is so popular in Korea right now. Thanks for watching till the end and I hope that this video was helpful for you. See you in my next video.